Hey guys, in this video I'll be telling you about how to find out the eigenvalue or an eigenvector of a square matrix using Scilab. Now, as you can see right here, I have opened up this window in which it explains the definition of a eigenvalue or eigenvector. Now, let us just consider this example real quickly. Let me just enter the values of this square matrix A, which is of dimensions 3 cross 3. So, head over to your Scilab console and type in A equals and just enter the elements of the matrix. You can separate rows by adding a semicolon as I have done or you can even hit enter to separate the rows. Minus 2 and minus 1. That's it. So now I have defined this matrix that we are seeing in this example used on the internet and I have entered these elements in the matrix A on Scilab. Now to find out the eigenvalue of A you can give a simple command in Scilab which is called spec and in the argument you will uh, enter the matrix or the square matrix uh, whose eigenvalues you want to find out and then hit enter and it will give you that the three eigenvalues are minus 4, 3 and and here right here this value is 2.59 to 10 to the power minus 16 which is equivalent to 0 and as we can see in the example used over the internet we had uh, the three eigenvalues as 0, minus 4 and 3 with three eigenvectors corresponding to them given as c1, c2 and c3 respectively and as we can see that Scilab also returned the same eigenvalues and to find out the eigenvectors what you need to give is you need to uh, give a command which looks like this c comma d equals spec of a and what it returns is it returns two matrices one is d and the other is c as you can see d is a diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are the eigenvalues of the matrix a and the c matrix is a square matrix whose uh, whose columns correspond to the eigenvalues of the d matrix now as you can see this uh, the eigen vector corresponding to the minus 4 eigenvalue is the first column of the C matrix similarly the eigenvector corresponding to the second eigenvalue that is 3 is the second column of the C matrix and the third eigenvector corresponding to the third eigenvalue is the third column of the C matrix now if you try to verify it with some other sources like your books on linear algebra or or, or some examples from the internet then you might find that your answers do not exactly match and that is because eigenvectors can be anything since eigenvectors are just linear combination of combinations of each other therefore you might find a difference of a factor that is your answer may be similar to the answer in the book but your answer can be a factor of the answer given in the book as we can see if we consider the eigenvector corresponding to the point uh, or the eigenvalue minus 4 then we should have got minus 1 comma 2 comma 1 however the eigenvector that we get corresponding to minus 4 is 0 0.408 and minus 0.816 and minus 0 0.408 which are quite different than what we get from the internet however if we try to factor it out then we will find that all these are in the similar ratios as minus 1 comma 2 comma 1 that is if you take 0 0.408 as minus 1 then you can see that the second value is just a twice of the first value and multiplied by a negative and similarly the third value is just the negative of the first value so the ratios remain the same so that's how you find out the eigenvalues as well as eigenvectors I hope you enjoyed the video Hit like and subscribe and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below. Have a nice day.